and the water is stopping up. Um, sometimes you're able to put a little drain cleaner down there, but other times you actually need to take this out and um, remove hair or things like that. So it's not too difficult, but we'll go over how to do that. <clears throat> so obviously, as you can see now, we're underneath the sink. So to remove the little um, the pop-up stopper, it's pretty simple. Um, you just want to go ahead and take note of what line this is on, because this is what you, you want to put it back on when it's done. So what you want to do is take this little spring clamp here, and you just kind of want to push it back here. And don't lose it there, so you'll want to, this is what the clamp looks like here. Definitely save that. And then here, this is just held on with a, a nut here, so you just kind of unscrew just like that. And then that comes off. And then you'll want to kind of, this will come straight out here. Sometimes you have to come up top and kind of just all right and as you can see this one's pretty dirty and pretty rusty too um, but we'll put this down for now and again this is just the little the screw nut here the ball that's the ceiling and then the metal interior and we'll clean that off as well and once you come up to the top here this comes right out <clears throat> So this looks pretty dirty, we'll clean it off, but um, in this example, it's not too bad. Um, a lot of times you pull it out and there's um, hair and everything causing issues. And you can kind of look down through as well. And if you have a lot of hair gunking things up, you can um, take some plier tools and get that out. But to replace it here, once you're done cleaning it, you would go ahead and make sure this is facing back here just like that. We'll go back in. And it's just kind of the reverse, basically. You want to make sure this goes back in and make sure this part goes through the hole of the pop-up top there. And you can test it too, once you have it in. Just hold it here and kind of pull up on the topper here. And as you can see, it's moving the this part here. That means it's in the hole there. And I'm just pulling up on the pop-up topper at the top here. And you just kind of screw it back on this way. And you, I still make sure it's lifting it up at the top. And I pull on it as well at the top, making sure it's just not on the very bottom. All right, and last part here. We just, this was on the very bottom here, so we're gonna wanna put it back on. We need the spring clamp. Okay, so that's on there. Make sure this is tight. That can't go anywhere because the spring clamp's on. And then we'll check it here. Make sure that opens and closes it. Always make sure to make sure it's not leaking. Go ahead and run some water and then just check underneath and make sure there's no leaking. So all right. So just pretty simple, it takes less than a few minutes, but um, that's how you can clean out the pop-up stopper here. Hey guys, hope this helped out. Um, subscribe if you um, want any more.